Today, we're gonna to be covering how to split up columns within Python and pandas through the string split function. This allows you to have a lot more utility to your own data frame and perform a lot more calculations within a column once it is split apart. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you through a few of the different ways that you can use this function, as well as an example interview question that you might get. I'm gonna jump on my computer right now and let's start coding. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is import pandas. So import pandas as p d shift and enter now i'm going to give you guys this data frame and i'm going to just going to paste it down below here in the comments or the description essentially what i am doing is building out different baseball cards on my favorite hobbies and we've used these before in the python explode video so if you already practiced that video feel free to copy it Otherwise, use this as well for that video after this one, of course. So shift enter and then df.head. And then we'll just put five in here because I believe we have five cards. And then you can see essentially what how this works. So what this data frame shows is the year of a baseball card or year of a card in general, then the brand associated with it, and then the player. So for example, we have 1971, Tops Nolan Ryan. Down below, we have a rookie card of Donald Bradman, which is an Ogden, which is a UK release. Then we have a tobacco card of Ty Cobb from 1909. We have a Lone Jack card of Benjamin Franklin, and then a Topps card of Justin Verlander. So that is how this is built out. And all you have to do to split these into a different series or columns is just put DF, and we're gonna call out the series that we're using, right, card. So put card in here and then dot str dot split. And then we have to determine how we're gonna split these. Now there is a space between everything in here. So like you can see there's a space between 1971 and tops, a space between tops and Nolan. And then there's a space between Nolan and Ryan. So it's the same thing over here, right? A year, brand, first name, last name. So we can just put a space in here and this is smart enough to know that it's going to split on every single space and we can determine how many times we're going to split things in the, the future and also different ways you can split it but i'll show you that in a second so shift and enter and then you can see how this is built right so now there's a comma after 1971 there's a comma after tops after nolan after ryan and for each of these over here which is really good because this is now specifically working for us now, if you wanted to put this into a data frame, essentially what you're gonna do is put expand equals true. So I'm just gonna copy this code over here, paste it, and then I'm gonna put a comma and put expand equals true like this. And now watch the difference. If I do a shift in enter, right? Zero, one, two, three, and four, and all these are lined up way, way prettier. So that's pretty cool, right? Now let's take a look at only splitting this a few different times. So let's say for example, you wanted to have only 1971 in a new series and column and you wanted everything else the same, right? So you wanted the year off the side and then you wanted the brand uh, with the player or subject matter. So all you have to do is put N equals one and you're gonna put this after this spacing over here. So watch this, put that over here and then I put N equals one and check it out so we have the year on this side of things and then everything else which is really cool now if you wanted to have the year then the brand and then the subject matter you'd want to have n equals two so let's put that over here so so now you can see that we have the year they have the brand of the card and then the subject but I don't like this. We have zero, one, and two. So let's rename these columns as well. And I've used this quite a lot on the channel. You can use something called rename. And all you gotta do put in here is columns equal. And then inside over here, you're gonna call the column that you're changing. So in this example, you're gonna be changing zero, sorry, colon. And then I'm just gonna put over here, year. Then we're gonna put a comma. Then we're gonna put one and then I'll put brand and then two and I'll just do subject like this 
If we do a shift and enter, you can see that it has been changed and this data frame looks way better. Again, our first one over here looked like this. And just being able to clean up the data now, we have all of this, which now if we really wanted to, we could do quite a bit more with this. I mean, you could order, you can sort values by brand or year, by subject. Uh, you can add in filters like queries to determine cards that were specific years or not. In the past, we just had this one large string. So this is, really allows you to have a lot more filtering options in the future. Now, let's say you wanna add this into your data frame, right? Because if we go back over here, if we just do a df.head, right? I'll just show you that right now, head five, no changes have been applied, right? So we still have this. Um, so I'll show you how we can do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is it's like assigning new columns. So we're gonna put DF and since we're gonna be assigning, a, a building out a few different columns, we're gonna do double brackets in here and let's copy this over here. So I wanna have year, brain and subject again. I just copy this code because I hate typing things out. That in there. And then I'm just gonna remove the zero, one, and two, right? So essentially what this allows us to do over here is build out the new column for year, brand, and subject. So we're gonna say that is equal to, and I'm gonna just go up over here and copy the first part of this, right? So we have these three new columns, year, brand, and subject equal to DF card string split we're doing n equals two, so we keep the first name and last name together right over here, and expand equals true. So we're gonna put these into new specific columns or series. So I do a shift and enter, that should work. And now, if we do a df.head, check this out. We have the card for the year, brand, and the subject. But to be honest with you, I don't like this card column anymore. It's no longer needed in this instance, so let's drop that. And if you're familiar with how dropping works, all you have to do is df.drop and then put columns equal and then just put what you want. So I wanna drop that card. So put card in here like this. And I'm not assigning it back to data frame yet just to show you guys this works, right? Card is dropped. So then all you have to do is put df equals, it's gone. And then just to show you one more time, df.head and boom, right? year brand subject and over there that card is gone so again this is our final output on this side of things in comparison to this over here so you can just see how powerful that is and that's just with spaces i want to show you guys how you can do this with the interview style question and something slightly different so my favorite sport is baseball there's something called a slash line so it'll show you like the average obp and slugging over here for a batter. So a good example of this is gonna be like dot 300, dot 400, dot 500. And while that looks nice and can be easy to read, it's not the best for calculations. So we're gonna to wanna to split this up into different columns, right? Average, OBP, and slugging. So essentially what I wanna do is show each of these in new columns, uh, but keep the original slash line. So like. In this example over here, we dropped that card column. This time I want you to keep it and we're gonna separate these with the slashes. So that way you can practice with something else besides spacing. So like above, I'm gonna put this down below so you guys can copy the data frame and code. Um, but I'll show you this, I'm gonna do a shift enter and then we're just gonna do a df2.head. We'll put a five in here just to show you how this works. So we have Mike Trout and that's the slash line and these are career slash lines, right? We have Mookie Betts. Both of these players are active in baseball right now, two of the best in the game. And we have three retired players, Ted Williams, Stan Mutual, and Tris Speaker. If you're a baseball fan and you don't know Tris Speaker, very, very underrated, especially taking a look at this slash line, right? Um, but Ted Williams and Stan Mutual are legends. Not to go on a rant or anything like that, but here's that column that we want to split up. So feel free to pause the video, try to solve it for yourself. If not, I will be solving it shortly. Okay. So let's split these columns. So first I'm just gonna show you how to do that and then we're gonna assign it to uh, the new specific column. So all you have to do is DF2 and then we're gonna put in here the slash line, so capital S on this time, slash line. And then we're gonna put dot str dot split 
And this time, instead of a space, we're gonna put in here the slash like that. We're gonna put n equals two, and then we're gonna put expand equals true. And just to show you that works, right? Now we have zero, one, and two on there, which is really good. Now we need to assign this two back to our data frame. So if you remember earlier, we have average OBP and slugging like that. So let's assign those in here. So we're gonna put DF2, we're gonna put double brackets, right? And then I'm gonna throw this in here. And what I'm gonna do is put single quotes around average, comma, get rid of this slash, OBP, comma, get rid of that slash, and then put comma like that. And we're gonna put equals on that side of things. So essentially we're keeping that the same, but we're gonna declare average OBP and slugging as in new colors. Shift and enter. And now if we do a df2.head, df2.head, and we'll put a five in there, you can see that we have player slash line average OBP and slugging, which is nice, right? So now what we can do, and this wasn't asking the question, is we can sort these values. So essentially we can do df2 that sort values, right? And let's say, for example, we wanted to do OBP. So we can just put here OBP ascending equals false because we want to see who has the highest OBP. And before, right, in this format, it's not practical to do, right? But now that we split it up, we can. So you can see, for example, Ted Williams has the highest on base percentage, whereas Mookie Betts has the lowest, right? 369 compared to 482. We can do the same thing now with slugging percentage, right? So we can just put over here SLG, and then you can see that Ted Williams was the best at slugging. Tris Speaker was the worst, 500, which is still phenomenal, right? So now you have those opportunities to do so, and you can really play around uh, with the data in here, especially when you get into larger data frames. Um, but things like this is super, super helpful and awesome trick to know. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe to the channel as it does help it grow and it's 100% for free. By the way, I mentioned it in the video, but you should go watch this video right here on the explode function. It's very similar to a string split, except now you're gonna have a different rows.